and science. In this video, I'm going to show how to calculate the density of both a cylinder and this cube. And I chose the aluminum uh, both because I should be able to get the same density of the aluminum cube and the cylinder. So let's get started with the cylinder first. And also, I'm using a ruler, not a graduated cylinder. Okay, first, the, dense, the formula for density is mass divided by volume. The formula for calculating the volume of a cylinder is you take pi times the radius squared times the height. Now, I can get the radius squared by first measuring the diameter, which is straight across, then divide that by 2. And I went ahead and pre-measured some things. So the diameter was 1.3 centimeters. When I divided that by 2, that gave me 0.65 centimeters. And then when I squared that, it was 0.4225 centimeters squared. Next, I measured the height, which was like this, and that gave me 5.2 centimeters. So now to get the volume, I just plug everything into the formula. So I have pi times 0.4225 centimeters squared times 5.2 centimeters, and that equals 6.90207 centimeters cubed. Volume is cubed. Next, I calculated the mass using this, and the mass is somewhere, it's right between 17 and 18. I, I used 18, but you can see it is 18 grams, okay? So I have 18. So now to get the density, I just take 18 divided by the volume, which is 6.90207 centimeters cubed, and that equals 2.6079 grams per centimeters cubed. Okay, that is the density of this aluminum cylinder. Now, let's get the density of the aluminum cube. Again, just using a ruler. And the way I did that was the uh, formula for volume is length times width times height. Well, again, I measured it in centimeters very, very carefully, and it looked like it was 2.5. Since it's a cube, I can use it three times. So it's 2.5 times 2.5 times 2.5, and each of these are in centimeters. I'll write centimeters here and centimeters. And that gave me 15.625 centimeters cubed for the volume. Again, I placed this on here to get the mass, and it looks like it is 44 grams. So then I just take 44 grams divided by 15.625, and remember the volume is cubed, and that gives me 2.816 grams per centimeters cubed. Okay, so now I'll place the block by the density that we calculated for that, and here is the density for the cylinder, and you can see they're pretty close. Also, uh, all aluminum does not have the exact density. There are different types or alloys. Okay, so anyway, I hope that helps in calculating the density of both a cube and a cylinder. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.